Hey, it's video tutorial number 43. Sound like Darth using, uh, let's see if I can actually do it. Using Freak Shift. Um, today we're gonna build a quick um, patcher and I'm going to see if I can actually do this in a way that doesn't mess everything up because of the uh, crossed audio lines. But here we go. Let's get a brand new patcher up here. Um, we're supposed to be having fun this week. Remember, this you're doing your final project. Maybe you want some interesting audio effects. And no one asked for anything in particular. So I thought, what could be better than to be able to speak like Darth Vader? That's what everybody wants to do. It's probably the only reason you ever thought that you'd learn this uh, max MSP. So here we go. Uh, let's get the new object and we'll talk about what the object is. It's called Freak with a Q, F R E Q, shift. And um, that's it right there. And I'm just going to get a little zoomy action going here. Whoops, that's not good zoomy. There's good zoomy action. Okay, and what we'll need to be able to use Freak Shift is um, we'll need two gains on the, whoops, new, gain, great, and you know, for reasons that I myself only care about, I like to make my gains really wide, because there's actually two tabs down here on the bottom, and if you get the wrong one, then it doesn't work, so there's one, there's our two gains. And uh, you can do that any way you want. There's our freak shift. And we'll just run those out to each gain there. And it's so this is so easy, it, it almost makes you laugh. And then we'll go get an easy DAC and put it down here. And wire it up. Remember, it's only the left. Uh, output side. I think this puts out a number value. Yeah, slider value. And then we need an input, which will just be our microphone. So let's put that up there. And, um, you know, just for safety's sake, we'll, we'll put another frequency, uh, excuse me, a gain control on that. So let's just move one of these over here because you don't want to accidentally be uh, overdriving your... Hey. Oh, right. You can only have one channel and one fader. There we go. And then this is going to come around and go into here. And here... Um, here comes the tricky part. So, we do that. And um, then what we're going to do, um, uh, okay, here's what you have to go do. Go plug your headphones in before you turn these on. Do not, I repeat, do not turn these on until you have plugged your headphones in and put them on your head, okay? And keep, the, keep all these sliders down, down here at zero, okay? In the meantime, let's go get a slider, type the letter N and type slider. And um, we're gonna work on the, on the slider uh, scale here from, uh, I, I like everything nice and fat so I can uh, manage it. And then I'm just gonna put a number box below it. So what frequency shift does is, um, it just grabs your incoming signal and it shifts the signal up and down. It does it in a, I'm gonna say a linear fashion, not really knowing a better way to explain it. So it shifts the frequency, but what it kind of sounds like is that you're talking through a certain kind of tube. It's like a tube amplifier that modulates a certain frequency that that your vo that multiplies it by your voice. And so it's it's not exactly a pitch shift; it's a frequency shift. Um, and let's find out what the number is. So just type F. And we'll put that underneath that box. And then connect this to there. 
and the number that we're going to be shooting for to get a normal no shift out of this is zero. So click on your slider and then let's get the inspector and go um, down over here and whoa, who is responsible for that? Um, we want a range of about, let's say 600 so that we get some pretty good sounds. I'll just put 600.0 just to make sure that it stays as a um, as a decimal. Why not float the output? Doesn't really matter. And if we want 600 because we want negative 300 to positive 300, then we're going to want this to be negative 300. Point zero. Okay. And supposedly now, when we uh, go back to our... Boy, that's really annoying zoom. Hey, I got my computer back, though, by the way. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so now we'll uh, click over here, lock your patcher so you can work your slider, and let's just make sure we get the range that we think we got, positive to negative 300. And maybe we should even uh, unlock your patcher real quickly and just put a message with a zero on it so you can get back to normal if you need to. And we'll just... Uh, bang that into the top of the slider if things start to get too kooky. All right, so in the meantime, have you gone to get your headphones and plug them in? Because we're going to um, just experiment here um, uh, with this freak shift because above all, we want to sound like Darth Vader, but we also don't want to like break your eardrums. Uh, and in so doing, I'm going to have to turn off my sound and turn on my sound over here at the same time. So um, let's see. Uh, let's uh, and and um, oh, I didn't explain this over here. Um, this side coming out of here, if you mouse over it, let's let's zoom in real tight there. If you zoom over this, you see you know, that's helpful. Um, frequency shifted signal with the positive sideband and this is the frequency shifted signal with the negative sideband. What on earth does that mean? I'll be honest, I can't quite tell you. Um, I have a sort of inkling, but what I do know is when you adjust them differently, it sounds different. And that's all that really matters, right? It's a sound effect. So let's lock our patcher and now I'm going to just uh, be silent for a second while I turn this on and then I'll um, bring the gains up slowly with my voice coming through here. Let's push the zero first though. Hey, it went to negative 300. That doesn't make any sense. Why would it do that? Because uh, unlock the patcher and make this 300 and then maybe it'll go to zero? Okay, good enough. I'll, I, I'll, I can live with that. Okay, um, I'm gonna go away for just a second, voice-wise, and I'll be back momentarily. Okay, hello. Hey, I'm back. Yay. Um, and let's see if we can get this negative there. That should be on the right ear. Okay. Hey, look at that. So um, y y just because I'm doing a screen recording through here, uh, I can't hear myself. But so now I've got the this thing adjusted pretty much the way I want it. So let's go ahead and try it. Is everybody ready? So we'll just inch this thing up and okay, do you hear that subtle noise in the back? Okay, well that's pretty wimpy. I feel like a guy who's talking uh, with helium in my mouth. But let's go down here to the lower reaches and I definitely Definitely sense that I could be Darth Vader now. Well, 
that is super duper, and we'll just get rid of that one. Ooh, that's nice and low. I like it. How about a middle range here? I'm going to adjust my my super prowess in, in my voice, of course, so that to to make other people fear me. And now I'll just, just listen li to the negative. Oh, they operate negatively now. This number's negative. I bet if I go positive, we hear the lower one now. And then this one has the, the high voice. Okay, this one controls the high side when this is positive. This one is low when this one's positive, but when it goes negative... Then it gets high. Okay, so they're backwards. You understand that? So if we want both the high and the low at the same time, we put them both at the top. Ha, ha, ha. And then if you suddenly want to embarrass yourself by speaking normally in the middle of a big sound effects thing, then you just hit the 300 and it's your plain old voice. You're no longer the Wizard of Oz. Well, geez, that was great. So um, all you people who always wanted to sound like Darth Vader, today was your... Oops, wrong one. That, that is so wimpy. I mean, today was your day. Ha ha ha! Uh, thanks for listening, everyone, and patch well, and I'll see you in the next silly tutorial video. Uh, take care.